Okay, now let's see this question. This question came in gate 2014 for one mark. Let P be a quick sort program to sort numbers in ascending order using the first element as the pivot. Okay. Now T1 and T2 they are saying is the number of comparisons made by the algorithm P, quick sort algorithm P uh, for inputs this and this. Okay. So whatever the quick sort number of comparisons they are taking for first input that is T1 and for the second input that is that value is going to be T2. Okay. Now which one of the following holds true? Okay. So we have to find the value of T1 into T2 and then we can easily see that which one is uh, bigger or smaller. Okay. So firstly let's see this input, the first input. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. See, they are saying that the first element is the pivot. So while partitioning the first time, the pivot is going to be this. Now we can clearly see that this is the smallest element. That's why all the elements after the partitioning process will be as is as it is. That is, they are going to lie on the right side. But what is going to be the total number of comparisons in order to do that? So one will be compared to two, one will, one will be compared to three, one will be compared to four. Similarly, there are four comparisons. Okay. So total number of comparisons, number of comparisons is equal to 4 plus see once this partitioning process is over and now this rest of the array this array is there so actually this is not over this will be over at the end so basically this is a recursive process so once we are we are we are done with here then we are going to look into this array okay so we will see that uh, the first element is the pivot. So again all the elements are going to be on the right side. So here the number of comparisons we are going to compare 2 with 3, 4, 5 in order to see that whether where 2 is going to fit with respect to uh, all the other elements. So in order to do that we are going to do 3 comparisons. Among 4 elements we are going to do 3 comparisons. First one is the pivot. So three comparisons and we are seeing the pattern. Similarly, we are going to do two comparisons for three and one comparison for four. So total number of comparisons is going to be four, three, seven to nine and one, ten. Now let's see the second case. The second input is four, one, five, three, two. Okay. So here the first time pivot is going to be this so at the end the partitioning will be looking something like this uh, it will be one so let's write here it will be one okay one is smaller than four right and three and two okay so these these values 1 3 and 2 these are smaller than 4 so 4 will lie here this is the pivot at the end and uh, 5 is going to be here okay now once this is done see let's write the number of comparisons here also in order to come till this point what is the number of comparisons till now we have done four comparisons definitely four comparisons now uh, see right side there is only one element so there is no need to do any comparison in order to sort that one element is already sorted so there is nothing no comparisons needed on the right side so that is going to be 4 plus 0 and this is also done what about left side in left side again for these three elements we are going to sort recursively and the pivot will be the first element now when the pivot will be the first element now the uh, pattern will be something like this so 1 is going to, to be the pivot and 2 will lie before that and 3 will lie after that but how many comparisons are done in order to do that actually there are two comparisons 
so one is compared with three and one is compared with two okay once we are here after that after that we can see that uh, this is just a single element and this is just a single element okay so there is no need for any comparison because one element is trivially sorted okay so the total number of comparisons after that is going to be zero overall comparisons is going to be six basically this value is t1 this value is t2 and we can clearly see that t1 is greater than t2 because t1 is 10 and t2 is 6 and that's why t1 is greater than t2 c is the answer